Training is developing in oneself or other and skills and knowledge that relate to specific useful competencies. Especially technical training has specific goals of improving one's capability, capacity, productivity and performance. It forms the core of technical team provides the basic backbone of technical workplace. Very detailed knowledge about technical equipment is not very useful for daily use of equipment. Nowadays, EHV substations are established in India in tariff-based competitive bidding scheme, consequently state, central PSU and private sector are in the EHV substation operation and maintenance field. For general operation of the substation basic knowledge are required for engineers. Detail knowledgeable person is already available in engineering department of every transmission line company but knowledge share flow is blocked which are main hurdle to operate and maintenance the EHV substations. I am Sanjay Kumar Srivastava, retired Deputy General Manager of Power Grade Corporation of India Limited having 32 years experience of operation and maintenance of 400 kV, 220 kV, 132 kV AIS substation including managerial capacity of construction of 400 kV to 20 kV and 132 kV AIS substation. I visited many EHV substations of different utility in all over India and observed lack of operation and maintenance experience in the staff available at site. In view of above, a training module of AIS EHV substations are presenting that will give direction to shared knowledge in further coming videos. Details of training module are as follows. In this section, general guidelines of 765 kV, 400 kV to 20 kV and 132 kV substation and switch yard will be presented using this guideline overview will be elaborated. In this section, Maintenance procedure of switchyard equipment like current transformer, capacitive voltage transformer, wave trap, lightning arrester, isolator will be explained. The procedures will help all engineers, junior engineers and technicians for maintenance of the substation. Proper operation and maintenance of substation will enhance availability of substation which will support economy of country. After explanation of switch yard equipment maintenance procedure, maintenance procedure of EHV transformer and 400 kV reactor will be explained as power transformer and 400 kV reactors are heart of substation. Therefore, basic knowledge of transformer and 400 kV reactor are required for operation and maintenance engineer. After that separate testing procedure of circuit breakers, current transformer and CVT will be explained. In this module, all sampling from oil filled equipment like power transformer and reactor, current transformer will be explained. The all sampling is the first step of life assessment of transformers and reactors. Therefore, each team member of maintenance team must be knowing all sampling process. After that procedure of DGA, dissolve gas analysis, interpretation will be explained. The DGA interpretation are known for testing engineer and quality engineer but maintenance engineer is generally unaware, therefore the topic will be included. Battery and battery charger are included in training module because battery and battery charger are heart of EHV substation. All type of battery will be explained. In addition to this monitoring of ripple content in battery charger will be explained. In this section permissible limit for substation equipment will be taken up. 
that will enhance the knowledge of equipment reliability. Maintenance engineer will acquaintance the permissible limit of substation equipment test result. In this module, maintenance schedule will be explained. Because scheduling of any work is the basic step of success of work. All maintenance company prepare maintenance schedule as per their convenient. The maintenance schedule may differ company to company. In this module, a basic maintenance schedule will be explained. Data analysis is the high-level skill but the data collection is the work of ground-level team. For data collection in formatted manner is important. For this, every company creates standard format of substation equipment for monitoring of equipment. In training module, a general format will be presented for substation equipment monitoring which will support the operation team for collecting the data. Since spare parts are as critical as live equipment, healthy spare parts reduce downtime of base and lines availability. This module will cover the conservation process and condition monitoring of spare parts of transmission system equipment and special equipment and plants. In the next module, substation switchyard monitoring method will be explained. Every equipment in the switchyard and control system in EHV substation is monitored daily, weekly, monthly, half-yearly, yearly to ensure smooth operation and availability of power to consumers. Monitoring method will be explained in detail in the next unit of the module. In continuation of switch yard monitoring method, safety procedure during shutdown work will also be explained. Shutting down equipment in EHV substation is a very important task. Shutdown procedure will be explained which will confirm safe maintenance work. AIS EHV substation construction is very interesting work. Brief construction details of EHV substation such as site selection, environmental and social issues, site leveling, switch yard equipment earthing, basic knowledge of transformer and reactor construction will be explained. Also, schematic layout explanation, elevation drawing will be explained. Safety is a very important factor in EHV substations. This section discusses substation safety during construction and operation of EHV equipment. Details regarding EHV substation explained in different module will not last but least in view of transmission training points. Many other points will also be taken up in further module for proper look after the substation. If above points are interesting, you may please like and subscribe the channel for encouragement of preparing new module. You may also give you comment in comment box for improvement of module which will be helpful. Thank you.